Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee, and in this video, I want to show you how to fit a Corniche roof lantern from Made for Trade. Now, this is a roof lantern that is designed to be very quick and easy to fit. I've never fitted one before, but I'm going to give this a go and you can see how I get on. Now, these days, everybody's looking to get more light into their building, and a roof lantern is the ideal way of doing it. They actually are made to measure and they go up to a maximum size of 6 metres by 4 metres, which is huge. Not only that, they reckon that they're twice as strong as most of the competition out there. So they're really well engineered and once they're fitted, they're trouble free. So I'm going to get on. The first thing I notice is how well packed they are. Now, a lot of the time when you get these things delivered and there's scuffs and marks and dents in them, that's very annoying, very time wasting because actually you just want to get on with doing the job and you find that you're having to send bits back. So it's kind of reassuring to see just how much trouble they go to to protect all the components. And it even goes as far as this box here. These are all the components that you need. And as you can see, they're packed up in a way that you would expect to find things like mobile phones and computers. So that's really good. All the bits are there. The instructions are here. So I'm gonna have a quick read of those and get cracking. You might be a little bit concerned that this thing is held together with cable ties on each corner, but actually all they're there for is to locate these corners, keep them really snug and tight, so that when we put the screws in, or when we put the hips on, these won't spread apart. So they're just a temporary thing, we're gonna cut them off afterwards. Now when I first saw this Corniche product, it said that you don't need silicone to put it together, so I didn't actually bring the silicone with me, but then I discovered that actually you do need silicone just around the base, just where it sits onto your upstand. And that's because site variations, you know, the way people build upstands is always different. So the ceiling is done around the bottom, and after that, the rest of the construction doesn't need any silicone. Now, anyone that knows me knows that I'm an enthusiast for good engineering. And the other thing I say is that if there's a problem, then the manufacturer ought to design the product in such a way that they design it out. And that's precisely what they've done here. Made for Trade have done this because very often if you are assembling these kind of things, you find a little gap and you put a self-tapping screw in and you try to close that gap up. But if you look at this, the way this is done, it's got this tapered washer on so when you put your bolt in, start doing your bolt up, and as soon as that finds the hole underneath, that tapered washer pulls the joint nice and tight. So that really is a clever bit of design. And you can see that once that's done, that's a really nice close fit. And what we've got on here is these seals, so it's important. These are actually all factory fitted, ready to go. And this is the reason why you don't need to worry about applying silicone on these fittings or anything like that, because that lovely soft rubber seal is there, ready to take the glazing. And of course, if you know anything about these kind of products, you know that in a way, if it did leak on that outside, it would only run down to the edge anyway. So you've got a double defense on it. 
Now I always wonder about how much you should tighten things up, especially when you're talking about aluminium. But actually, if you look, this says 10 Newton meters, which is a lot. So you can crank them up quite nicely. And the great thing is that in the castings themselves, in the aluminium castings, they've put a steel helical insert in there, which means it's really beefy. And also, it virtually eliminates cross threading. So once it finds that thread, it's going in straight. Now because this is only 1.8 meters long, I can do that on my own. Obviously when you get down to six meters long, you're gonna need some help. So we've just got a quick visual check to make sure that that hole's lined up and that's another reason that these cable ties, these zip ties work really well because they do pull it all into line. So there shouldn't be any problem. So now with those bolts in the corners, it's really pulled the whole thing in and of course it's brought it in dead square. It's absolutely rigid and in perfect alignment. Now, I like the fact that these are pre-drilled. It means you haven't got to measure or mark out and of course you know exactly where you're going and it makes sure you put exactly the right amount of fixings in as well. Now, I'll be honest with you, the point at which I lose faith with these kind of systems is when they get those silicone guns out and they try and seal the whole glazing unit in there on silicone because as a plumber, I know that if you rely on silicon alone, sooner or later it's going to let you down. And I've also seen it's a bit of a mission trying to get the glass in, pack it up, get it square. And the difference with this system is because it's precision engineered, because it is absolutely square, they don't have to allow for tolerances on the glass and packers and silicon. So what they've done is they've precisely engineered it all so that it all fits and we're not relying on silicon and packers, we're just relying on a, a nice fit, we just leave equal spacing on this at both ends. And then it pushes into place. So this genuinely is my first ever attempt at this, so let's see how I get on. I'm always a little bit worried in case the glass falls out. You see it? You can't argue with that. Now in keeping with normal glazing, you just gotta make sure you get the label facing on the inside. That means that self-cleaning glass is on the outside and you've got the low E coating the right way round. Now at the risk of getting a little bit too sort of gushing about this product, I mean it really is quite incredible. They've anodized these little pins here and this is die cast aluminium and the reason they do that is because this is a completely thermally broken window so it cuts down completely on the cold bridging to achieve the highest U value. So that's it, that's the job complete. And when they said it was easy, they weren't exaggerating. I mean, that was a piece of cake. You know, when they first asked me, when Made for Trade first said, do you want to have a go at fitting one of our Cornish roof lanterns? I said, I'll have a go. It's not really my trade. I'm a jobbing builder, come plumber. But 
having fitted it, I'm just amazed how easy it is. The reason they had confidence in this product is because they've engineered out all those problems that are normally associated with this kind of product. Having fitted this one, I can't wait to fit another.